guys welcome back to my channel this is the second video of this mini skin retouching series where we'll be talking about dodging and burning in the first video that i will link in the description and also here in the upper corner we were doing a little bit of cleaning using a clone stone tool and a healing brushes to prepare the skin and get rid of all the texture problems and sharp pixels before we move on to dodging and burning as you might know from my previous videos, dodging and burning is a very important part of my workflow and whenever I retouch skin to the high end, I always use this technique. I will link a couple of videos that I created already on this topic in the description as well. So let me show you how I use dodge and burn to retouch skin with the deep imperfections. To start with the dodge and burn, you need to create a group first. I'll name this Dodge and Burn Micro. And in this group, we're going to create two adjustment layers. First will be adjustment layer of curves, where I'll pull the curve in the middle slightly down. That will create a darker version of our image. I'll invert the mask by pressing Command I, and we'll call this Burn. Second adjustment layer will be again curves, to create our dodge layer, I'll create a point in the middle once again and pull it higher up to create a lighter version of our image. I'll invert the mask by pressing Command I and I'll call this dodge. Now our layers are set and we can start working on them. The principle of dodging and burning in the skin retouching is to even out the transitions between the lights and the shadows. We are not treating colors or any other problems of the skin with the dodge and burn, only the light and the shadow. So for this, we don't have to see any colors. We can actually create a helping layer that will help us see a little better where the imperfections are and where we'll need to concentrate our retouching. So let's create those helping layers. First, let's get rid of all the colors with hue and saturation layer, bringing it all the way down to negative 100 and a quick curve adjustment layer as well, just to give us a little bit more contrast so the imperfections are much more visible. Now we can start working. I'll use my brush and the settings for my brush will be hardness between zero and 50%. Doesn't really matter because we'll be using a very small brush. Mode is normal, opacity 100 and the flow will be 1%. And whenever I will see an imperfection, meaning a dark patch, I'll go over with my white brush because we have a black mask and I will, I will reveal the version of the image hidden under the mask. So whenever I see dark patches, I'll go over on my dodge layer and I will uncover the lighter version of the image that we hidden under the mask only on the areas that are too dark. Then I will move on to burn and whenever I see a light patches I'll go over again with my white brush because we're still working on a black mask and I will uncover the darker version of the image that's hidden under the mask. This way we are able to even out the transitions between the light areas and the dark areas and create a virtually smooth and polished skin. Make sure you're switching between a dodge and a burn. After all, this method is called dodge and burn. So we need to use both of the adjustment layers to achieve the best results. I'm zoomed in quite close into the image because we're trying to sort the problems on a pixel level with Dodge and Burn Micro. I'm changing the size of my brush according to the area that I need to be working on. So make sure you have one hand on your keyboard and a bracket keys so you can quickly change the size of the brush.
Let's have a look what couple of seconds of the Jamboran did to our image before and after. Let me zoom out. Before and after. The difference will become much more apparent when I move here onto the cheek as this is the most problematic area of the skin. So once again, whenever I see a dark patches or shadows, I'll go over them with my white brush to uncover the lighter version of the image that's hidden under the dodge mask, like so. And whenever I see lighter patches, I'll switch to burn and uncover the darker version of the image that's hidden under the mask to help us even out the transitions between the lights and the shadows. If you have accidentally cover area that didn't need the dodging and burning, you can just switch back to the black brush by pressing X on your keyboard, which will toggle between the foreground and the background color, and you can bring the mask back. As we move a little bit deeper into the skin, here where the imperfections runs much more deeper into the skin tissue, we can up our flow a little bit, somewhere between 1 and 3% to help us with a little bit of stronger effect. That's definitely needed. Also, in working in these darker areas, we can go back to our help layers, double click on the curve adjustments and make sure we set the curve according to what we need to help us see a little better. Sometimes the imperfection runs too deep and the contrast between the lights and the shadowy part is too high, so you will need to create additional set of dodge and burn curves just to ensure we're getting the best results possible. And just do the same and go over the same area on additional dodge and burn curves. This is a very time consuming process, but it's definitely worth the final results. If you want to keep the skin texture intact and the colors as natural as possible and you want to achieve high-end results with your retouching, you'll need to invest some time into the dodging and burning. But believe me, it's absolutely worth it. Let me show you real quick what we did here in a couple of minutes. 
we have the before and after. I'll zoom out. Before and after. The results are quite dramatic, but as I mentioned, this is a very time consuming process. So I will skip retouching the shoulder and the hand, and I will also speed up the recording of retouching the skin with the dodge and burn, just so you don't have to sit here for half an hour. But I will be using the exact same thing what I just showed you. With my white brush, I will be uncovering lighter versions of the image for the dodge, whenever we see some dark patches. And I will be uncovering the darker versions of the image hidden under the burn mask, whenever I see a light patches. And I'll do that on a flow between 1 to 3%, depending on how strong the imperfections are. And I will be zooming in and out of the image, while switching between colorful version and a black and white version, just to help me see a little better. And I'll do that for the rest of the face. So let me work on that and I'll see you shortly. So here's the result of the dodge and burn and I had to create another set of dodge and burn curves and as I mentioned that will happen probably if you'll have someone or a picture where the imperfections run too deep into the skin tissue so they were much harder to get rid of. Let me pull these both uh, groups together in one group so we can see the results of the dodge and burn all together. Here is our before and after. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. Before and after. I think we did a pretty good job. And the next step will be matching the skin tones. So this is the third part of the video series. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the new upload. And give this video a like if you find it helpful. We can see this was our before and this is our after. Now the shoulder, hand and the face are much more similar to each other and the picture look much more balanced. 